Hawaii is home to many of the largest, most powerful telescopes in the world. Over the past four decades, Mauna Kea's observatories have pushed the boundaries of astronomy, studying black holes, discovering hundreds of planets, and identifying galaxies so distant that they are seen as they were not long after the universe was born, 13.7 billion years ago. Think of the night skies as a vast laboratory where astronomers can explore the fundamental properties of matter and energy, such as quantum physics and the mysterious dark energy, which is thought to make up most of the known universe. In 1964, astronomy began on Mauna Kea when astronomer Gerard Kuiper did a site testing on Pu'u Poliahu, one of the area's highest cinder cones. Mitsuo Akiyama and other community leaders encouraged Governor John A. Burns to support astronomy and a gravel road to the summit was approved. That first telescope was built by Alika Herring. With a mirror only 12 inches across, it produced images that launched Mauna Kea as a world-class location for astronomy. Because it is located in the middle of the Pacific Ocean at 13,796 feet above sea level, Mauna Kea is surrounded by incredibly stable, dry, and clear air. There are no nearby mountain ranges to cause turbulence, and the volcano's conical shape helps to smooth air currents. On most days, a tropical inversion layer helps to keep moist air below the summit. And as the mountain cools before sunset, convection ceases and the cloud layer retreats to lower altitudes. Mauna Kea's percentage of cloud-free nights is one of the highest in the world. This superb air quality causes less distortion and degradation of light as it passes through the atmosphere. And down below, sodium vapor streetlights help to preserve the island's dark skies. There are other requirements for world-class astronomy. The Big Island of Hawaii provides the necessary modern infrastructure, including airports, a large harbor, reliable electrical power, data communications, and medical facilities. And the observatories need bases at lower elevations to support telescope operations, build instruments, and even conduct observations and control the telescopes from below. All of these factors have brought some of the world's most renowned astronomers to Mauna Kea's telescopes. Meanwhile, the University of Hawaii has become a world leader in the field of astronomy and counts many top astronomers on its staff. The university also manages the Hale Pohaku facilities with lodging for telescope technicians and visiting scientists. Mauna Kea's oldest operational telescope is the University of Hawaii 24-inch telescope. This telescope's history has spanned the evolution of modern astronomical instrumentation from photographic film to CCD cameras, computer tracking systems, and infrared detector arrays. Today, UH24 is primarily an educational facility for use by undergraduate students at the University of Hawaii at Hilo. And soon it will be upgraded to a one-meter educational telescope. The University of Hawaii 2.2-meter telescope proved that large, world-class telescopes were feasible on Mauna Kea, in spite of high altitude and cold. Completed in 1970, it was one of the first telescopes to be operated by a computer system. The Kuiper Belt, a vast band of planetoids and other small objects on the outskirts of our solar system, was discovered with this telescope. Through the years, this telescope has been a testbed for cutting-edge instruments being developed by the University of Hawaii and an essential part of the school's graduate program. Operated by an international consortium, the Canada-France-Hawaii telescope was considered by many astronomers to be the world's premier telescope when it began operations in 1979. Since then, CFHT has remained at the forefront of modern astronomy 
because of innovative instruments such as adaptive optics. AO compensates for distortions caused by the Earth's atmosphere. By bouncing incoming light off a deformable mirror, the resulting clarity is comparable to space telescopes. One of CFHT's newest instruments, Mega Prime, seen here mounted on the telescope's prime focus, can capture an incredibly high-resolution, wide-angle view of the heavens. The NASA Infrared Telescope Facility was commissioned in 1979 to support NASA's space missions and research programs. Optimized for infrared wavelengths between 1 and 25 microns, the IRTF is especially well suited to observe the spectra of cooler objects, like planets, using different technologies than projects studying hotter objects, like stars. Managed by the University of Hawaii under contract with NASA, the IRTF spends half of its time looking at solar system objects. Significant contributions include the study of Io, one of Jupiter's moons, where volcanic activity is observed. The United Kingdom Infrared Telescope is the world's largest telescope, designed solely for infrared astronomy. It can see the invisible heat radiation coming from the universe's cooler objects. Operated by the Joint Astronomy Center in Hilo, UKIRT is a great example of how telescopes continue to evolve and be competitive. By developing advanced instrument technologies, such as the new wide-field camera, the telescope has revolutionized infrared astronomy. One of its notable achievements is calculating the mass of quasars, super bright, extremely dense, and mysterious galaxies at the edge of the observable universe. The Caltech Submillimeter Observatory features a 10.4-meter segmented dish. Designed by the late Robert Layton of Caltech, it is formed by 84 aluminum hexagons and can rotate with the dome to point nearly anywhere in the sky. The Leighton mirror captures the submillimeter wavelengths of the spectrum to give scientists a very different view than optical or infrared telescopes. To capture these wavelengths, the CSO's sensitive detectors are cooled to the temperature of liquid helium, a few degrees above absolute zero. On the Fahrenheit scale, that's about 460 degrees below zero. Mauna Kea's extremely dry air is ideal for submillimeter observations and has helped the CSO make groundbreaking studies of cold objects, such as molecular clouds and star-forming regions. The James Clerk Maxwell Telescope is the world's largest single-dish submillimeter telescope. When open, JCMT reveals the world's largest piece of Gore-Tex, which is about 80% transparent to submillimeter radiation and protects the telescope from wind and dust. The inside of one of its instruments is cooled to one-tenth of a degree above absolute zero. Called SCUBA, that detector captured an image showing dust clouds around the star Vega, possibly indicating a planetary system. Because of its power to see very cold objects, JCMT is able to study how galaxies evolve in the early universe and how stars form from cooler clouds of interstellar dust and gas. The Very Long Base Array consists of 10 identical antennas extending from the Virgin Islands to Hawaii. Working together as one instrument 5,000 miles wide, each of the dishes are timed to each other within an accuracy of a few billionths of a second. The VLBA's resolution of one milliarc second is the sharpest of any telescope on Earth or in space. That is the equivalent of reading a newspaper headline in Los Angeles from New York City. Known for its studies of black holes and galactic centers, the VLBA has also been used to measure continental drift by referencing Earth's landmasses to celestial objects. The Keck twins have the largest mirrors on Mauna Kea and have found more planets outside our solar system than any other telescope. At 10 meters wide, each mirror is formed by 36 hexagonal segments. A computer system of sensors and actuators 
controls the segments and adjusts their positions twice every second to an accuracy 1,000 times finer than a human hair. Like other telescopes on Mauna Kea, Keck uses adaptive optics. To make AO more versatile, the Keck Observatory has developed a laser guide star to create an artificial reference star. Not limited to natural bright stars, the observatory can now use AO to study virtually any object in the northern hemisphere sky. The Keck twins can also combine their light using interferometry to further increase their power. With its two state-of-the-art telescopes, the Keck Observatory has made many of the breakthrough discoveries of the past decade, including explorations into the origins of our universe, black holes, and the nature of matter itself. The Gemini North Telescope, with its identical twin in Chile, can cover the entire sky, both northern and southern hemispheres. One of Gemini's most notable features is the ability to open its midsection to equalize the inside and outside air temperatures. And the 8-meter telescope is so well engineered that a single person can push the 380-ton structure if the drive motors are disengaged. Professional telescopes need to be resurfaced periodically, and it takes only one half ounce of aluminum to cover the Gemini's mirror. Here, a silver coating was applied for the first time on a large mirror. Silver's reflectivity enhances infrared performance and makes Gemini the most powerful infrared telescope in the world. Gemini's power is further enhanced by the development of its cameras, different types of detectors that can be swapped for specific observations. Still young in telescope years, Gemini has already made major discoveries and taken its place among the world's elite telescopes. Subaru, or the Pleiades Star Cluster, has been admired by the Japanese throughout their history. Translated as, to tie together, it is a fitting namesake for a Japanese telescope in Hawaii, open to researchers from around the world. Visually striking, the Subaru is in a unique cylindrical enclosure designed to reduce air turbulence and reflect heat. And Subaru is the only telescope eight meters or larger with a detector instrument in the prime focus position. This demands a sturdier support structure and yoke, but the high resolution wide angle view is ideal for scanning large numbers of faint objects at the far edges of the solar system and of the universe itself. The newest addition to the summit is the submillimeter array located in Mauna Kea's submillimeter valley. Each of the eight six-meter dishes can be placed on different pads in various patterns. With a special supercomputer to combine and compare the signals, SMA is a radio interferometer with customizable baselines from eight to 500 meters. The array configuration produces a resolution of better than one arc second with the ability to discern distinct objects that were previously unseen by single-dish telescopes. Though just getting started, the SMA has already contributed many important observations, a collision of two galaxies, and a detailed analysis of the weather on Mars. As scientists explore the universal questions, how was the universe formed? Where did we come from? Is there other life out there? Mauna Kea stands at the pinnacle of astronomy and leads the search for answers.